Hi everybody, Alex Aploya from Expert Forex and it is Sunday the 11th of April and what I like about Sundays, they are the ideal days to do your market analysis because the market firstly is closed, it's a relaxing day, I always have a cup of tea when I'm doing my market analysis and I'm totally relaxed and I can see the charts in a very objective way. Now I've decided to make today a educational type of a market analysis and focus on the Bollinger Band which is a very underutilized indicator on the MetaTrader platform. And I'll explain how the Bollinger Band is used and there are some little secret signals there that really do help traders decide when a trend is in fact over. It's one of the most reliable ways of telling whether a trend is over. So let's have a look at the Bollinger Band. So the Bollinger Bands are basically volatility bands. In other words, they show if, if the currency is experiencing high volatility, in other words, it's trending, or lower volatility, in other words, it's consolidating. It can also show you if it's reversing. So it's, they, it's a very handy tool and it also gives you an immediate feedback. You can immediately see in which phase the currency is finding itself. Now on your screen you can see the 360 degree indicator and I have on it the 1 hour, 4 hour and daily Bollinger Band readings. And those readings are in fact the difference between the upper band and the lower band in pips. So in other words, high readings means that the bands are a lot of pips apart. Low readings mean that they are very tight. Uh, the bands are tight and the currency is consolidating. So it's a very quick way to tell which currencies are, are trading and which ones are consolidating. Now, why would you want to know that? Well, as you know, the market is never dormant. When it's consolidating, ob the obviously next phase that will go into is a trending phase. If it is trending, the obvious next phase that it will go into is either consolidation or a reversal phase. So it's important to know the dynamics of the market and see how many currencies are all, all consolidating and how many are all trending and that type of thing. It gives you a feel of the dynamics of the market and that's what makes this Bollinger Band so powerful. So let's have a look at the Bollinger Band readings and I'm going to focus today on the four hour readings. Just keep it nice and simple, give you a feel of what the Bollinger Band is all about. And what's nice about the 360 degree indicator, you can sort from now, so now it's from low to high or you can do it from sorted again from high to low. So as I, and as I said earlier, the, the high will be the trending currencies and the low ones will be the consolidating uh, uh, currency. So let's have a look at this now. For instance, here I've got the pound CAD as a trending currency. So here is the pound CAD with the Bollinger Band on it. And you can see this massive trend that the pound CAD is going through. So immediately it confirms the Bollinger Band readings by looking at the chart. So the next one, let's go to the extreme, the Aussie New Zealand, that it says that it's consolidating. And in fact, if you look at it in, in the correct way, it is trading sideways. So you want this kind of currency for your dual direction, grid trend multiplier type of strategies, and you want this kind of currency for your uh, trending strategies like the make money and so on immediately that these things start getting uh, getting value. So on your screen here, I have the Euro USD. Now again, let me just go through the principles. So when the Bollinger Bands start narrowing, it means there's a consolidation happening in the market. And you can see these, cons sometimes the consolidations become quite severe. You see the narrowing there, narrowing there, and there's a consolidation that's happening there. And sometimes, look how tightly they consolidate uh, over there. And let's have, a, oh, there's another very tight consolidation. So it shows you all the markets consolidating. Now, people that trade breakouts want to know that because the next phase, as I say, there's the consolidation. The next phase is a trending phase. So 
the minute people see uh, consolidations, they know it can't last forever and it's going to start trending. So there's the strategy already. And one of the biggest signals that people don't know about, and which I'm going to tell you about now, is how do you tell the end of the trend? So you've caught a nice consolidation, you might straddle the consolidation, or you might even know which direction the breakout's going to happen. So you catch this trend and it goes and it goes, and you don't know where, when, when will the trend end. Now I'm going to show you a little secret signal that you can use to tell whether the trend is over. Very important signal because you want to get out of the trade when the, when the trend is over. So let's go and have a look at some of the trends that are shown here for the euro. The euro has been trending quite nicely recently and let's just catch this nice long, long trend. So remember what I told you, there's this consolidation uh, and and uh, it started trending the wrong way for instance, but it, it at this point, can you see how, uh, how the Bollinger, Bollinger Bands came together and then broke out? So they deviated from each other, which means it's starting to trend. And, and you, so you catch that trend somehow, and there's lots of ways of catching the trend. Uh, my favorite is just a straightforward uh, trend line violation. Boom, you get into the trend that way. And you say, all right, now when must I get out? So now what a lot of people do is they look at this top uh, top at Bollinger Band and they say, oh, oh, there it's starting to turn. But you should actually look at the bottom one because the bottom one is more sensitive for some reason. And there we go. So that you can see they're deviating and suddenly the bottom one turns up. And that is the signal to get out. Not the top one because that's l later. It's the, the first one. So it tells you, oh, over there on that candle. And you can see from that candle onwards, the market went sideways. So there's the exit strategy if you are in a strong trend. So here's another strong trend. Here's another uh, a consolidation. Consolidation, you get into it again. Uh, this could be a ledge type of trade, something like that. You could get in that way. Boom, you go, get in, you say, oh, when am I going to get out? So I've already told you when you're going to get out. You're going to get out when this, when that Bollinger Band tells you that uh, starts hooking back the bottom one. And in this case, a little bit early, but not too serious. Of course, my setting is a, bit, a little bit fast. I'm using an eight setting with two deviations. And there's a consolidation. There it goes up again. I, I, I want, that's a... a, a a small trend but again even in the small trend you can see there was the the move um uh the, the move upwards on the bottom band and you can see it went sideways from then on so let's catch another trend here's another trend that we could have caught again purely using the tre uh, trend lines and you get into this and you say oh when am i going to get out again you know the answer you get out when this one is hooked so there we are you get out on that red candle over there so now i've given you a good ideas a few good ideas on how to tell use the bollinger band firstly to tell whether the, whether the currency is consolidating or expanding and secondly when to get out of a trade so even in the strong trend that the pound cad has you can see there there's a very strong trend it told us there uh there that the trend was slightly over there and you can see how it went sideways there and then it started trending again and then it and then it told us again you see that hook down there it told us that the trend is over and in fact it did trend sideways for a while and then now it's trending again and we have to wait now that that isn't actually a hook that's a hook in the wrong direction so it, this is confirmation that this trend might continue for a long time for the pound new zealand you can see the the bollinger blends are staying the same distance apart so it's not a really volatile uh, currency um uh, there's nothing much happening there and that's also tells you a lot of information um there uh the pound for instance here we go uh, again look at the pound there's the trend there's the reversal then it consolidates and it breaks out. There's the trend and there's the reversal. So again, those signals work all the time. And when it consolidates like this and pinches into a, a tight squeeze like that, then the breakout traders get excited because they can then trade their breakout trades. Now, I hope I've given you some ideas on how you can analyze the market 
and find these breakout trades and consolidation trades and also your exit signals for your trades. Now I'll show you a further setup that I use. And here's a setup where I can monitor 16 charts at the same time and see which currencies are consolidating, uh, which ones are expanding, which ones are trending, and which ones I should be getting out of if I am in a trade. For instance, there's a nice, uh, uh, and for instance, there's a nice trend starting there. The bands are starting to deviate from each other. Uh, these ones they are parallel so they don't really count when they're parallel they don't count they must deviate to to show increased volatility um, if they consolidate then obviously they're showing decreased volatility and that's what you want for breakouts you start drawing your trend lines and you trade the breakout out of trend lines uh, here's one that's had a little trend um, and clearly the trend is over because it's hooked and it's starting to consolidate there. That, there's that great trend that we saw earlier. Again, it's only just, it's, it's going to continue. There's the Bollinger Band telling you, oh, I'm deviating. The trend's going to go, uh, go further. Really powerful indicator if you use it correctly. Go and experiment with, with it. This is based on eight, eight and two deviations. You go and try different settings there. Uh, go and try 12 slower settings with maybe tighter deviations, that type of thing. And what, it's, it's whatever your eyes get accustomed to, those are the settings that you need to use. The Bollinger Band doesn't actually give you entries or exits. You've got to use trend lines or other means of getting in and out. But it does tell you what the market is doing. Is it consolidating? Is it trending? Is it going sideways? That type of thing. It's a fantastic indicator for those for that kind of information. So from me, Alex, Blair, I hope you've learned a little bit more about how you can analyze the market and plan your trades. Cheerio.